So y'all, it is a happy and joyous social distancing Wednesday. Yay. And we have been captain's log. <laughs> but today is a special day. And so that is why we're here. We thought, why not get on, say hello to you, check in with the people and uh, celebrate 15 years of marriage. Yeah, that's right. 15. I was going to say wedded bliss, but apparently I'm alone in that. <laughs> Okay, 15 years of marriage, and we actually thought it would be fun to relive our wedding day with you. No, um, so what we're gonna do, ready, is we are gonna show you some pictures that are sort of in chronological order and um, tell you about our wedding day. Because for those of you who were there, there were some people who were present, it was a pretty, fabulously comical day yeah i don't know a better way to say that it was it was comical are you ready 15 years old our wedding album it is like legit old school people it is a big old album and i will read to you our wedding invitation which we printed ourselves back before like the diy was a super cool thing to do <laughs> i'm proud of us uh miss amanda marie sansulo and mr jonathan david mayhew have chosen the first day of their new lives together as Friday, the 18th of March, 2005. You were invited to share in their joy as they exchange marriage vows at seven o'clock, the garden room, Fayetteville, Arkansas, and afterwards at the reception. Super duper. Um, our wedding colors were orange and like a fuchsia -y pink. Don't judge us. So where is Mo if you're married, and I'm, I mean, some people are low maintenance. I am not. Uh, ga the gals and I got started getting ready at like 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, at least. Me, I went golfing yeah. with dad and best man Goose. And Did you even bathe? Father-in-law before golf? No, after. After golf? Probably. You didn't bathe before you married me? Oh, I'm sure I did. <laughs> this is shocking 15 years later. As I was like buffed and scrubbed and tanned and quaffed. I was surprised I wasn't sunburned. But this is a photo of me getting ready. Now this was 2005, so let's keep in mind there was body glitter involved. Just like a Simpson body glitter. <laughs> yes, there was. Still is my favorite wedding dress of all the wedding dresses I've ever seen. It weighed about, it was all crystals and it weighed about a hundred pounds and it stood up on its own, but. And it lives in the basement. I still have it and I love it and I'll never get rid of it. But we, you know, spent the entire day getting ready while John on the other hand. Played golf, golfed. might have bathed. Now, I don't know about y'all, but my husband was a model at the time of our marriage. Like paid model. This was not necessarily one of his like super greatest poses. <laughs> this is the moment he laid his eyes on me. Now we were not traditional, but we did some things traditionally. Like he did not see me at all. We didn't do that first look thing where, no. We, we did all the pictures after old school style. Uh, there was none of that first look situation. So we, that um, is, the first, that is the first look. So this is the aisle, y'all. Lovely moment. Um, I can't imagine how close the photographer was to my face. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> we got married at the garden room in Fayetteville, Arkansas, which is, I think it's still there today. No, no, it might have a different name. Um, apparently when we ordered photos, we did a lot of black and white. But then again, we were wearing black and white. So, yeah. seems appropriate. Um, this is us gazing lovingly into each other's eyeballs. Um, Cause that's what you do when you're 19 and you are in love. <laughs> That's what you do when you're 34 and in love. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorites. This isn't a funny one. Uh, there were some very candid moments during our ceremony. Um, mm -hmm. But I still think it's fabulous to 
stand next to you. And I think I still give you this look. I think this still happens. Oh, yeah. Between the two of us 15 years Daily. later. Um, <laughs> I, and I can never, if as I look in this look now, <laughs> I can never tell if it's I'm concerned about something you just said or I adore you. It's both. Probably. Um, <laughs> I adore you and I'm concerned about whatever it is you just did or said. Uh, still praying together uh, after 15 years of marriage. Right. Uh, what advice would you give the people? Uh, 15 years, I think, is nothing to shake a stick at. Or Is it shake? It's nothing to... What's the phrase that goes there? That's one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shake phrase. A stick at. That's a phrase. Um... Bad what, is, what is what is your when wise and sage advice on how to make it for the youngsters out there who are still in the single digits? Grin and bear it. No. <laughs> I almost spit my coffee out. <clears throat> I just wow. up to try to make your coffee I out. I was gonna say, make sure you pray together, not just right. for one another. Together. Uh, wow. I was just trying to make you spit coffee. I was going to say fake it till you make it, but laugh. That's I was segueing myself. Which one was that? His was grin and bear it. No, you which were I guess, laughing at me messing up my vows. I, he did. <laughs> In a Couple grandiose times. way. Just absolutely. I, 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 now, I, I, our precious Justice of the Peace, which apparently we just didn't have a lot of options at the time. His name was Old Lyle something. Old Lyle something was a Lyle Justice was of the Peace. Lyle was amazing. He wore Came a top hat. in a top hat. And tails. He was Fabulous, bless him. So fabulous. But he gave John and me, I think as well, our vows all at once. Yeah. So you had not to then like, go the distance. Yeah, not like two lines and then wait. And after the second attempt, this was my response. Yeah. It's one of my favorite photos from our wedding, actually. Yep. It was a treasured moment. It just was, it was a relentless my vow face ceremony. matches the flowers on my We did eventually hotel. say our vows. Eventually. And give a little kissy kiss. Mm. Oh, that precious. Is still downstairs. Yes. My mommy, my mummy <laughs> made that bouquet and it's still fabulous. White Gerber daisies, can't go wrong. Gerber daisies were our flowers. White, pink, and orange because Gerber daisies are fabulous. Um, so yeah, I also wore a tiara. And people who are like, don't wear tiaras, it's tacky. It was 2005, the age when Jessica Simpson and Nick Lachey were still newlyweds. And we wore body glitter, and so do not mess with my tiara. I still love it. I didn't wear and body glitter. And I wore it, we renewed our vows at 10 years. Cause yep. you know, life, when you come out of the wilderness, you might as well say them vows again. Uh, I wore that tiara again, more as a headband, but <laughs> no one judge me. Um, so the happy, again, I love, we had a great, our wedding really wasn't stressful. We were young, we were 19, so what was there to be stressed about? Um, but it was a really, I still remember it really fondly. It was really fun. We had a lot of friends and family, and this was down the aisle. Oh, it is? Don't you see they are still in the... Oh, they are. No, this is, this is, I didn't include the photo of us, which I really should have, of us trying, we did light a unity candle. We didn't do the sand uh, or the stuff like that. We lit the unity candle, and... Light. <laughs> it didn't light. <laughs> it didn't light. Um, we did not do a traditional, we did not opt for a traditional cake. And again, I did not include the best photos. Uh, we did pedophores. We oh, are gosh. Razorbacks. And so we had a, this fabulous big red velvet Razorback. We cut his head off and we saved his head yep. for a whole year. And then we took it out of the freezer a year later and threw it away. But because <laughs> fun, and I don't know if bakeries still do this, but at the time it was a new thing. At your one year, they would give you cake yeah. if you ordered one. cake from them. So fresh cake so that you didn't have to eat the year old cake. So we did open the cake. We did hold the head. I think we, we cut into some, it. We took some pedophores with us to the beach and went down to the... Yes, but that's what they gave us. Yeah. But we did like behold the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did behold the head of the Razorback, to which we promptly threw it away and ate fresh cake. So, oh, um, look at that pretty oh, bride. bridal portraits. So sweet. Um, what do you ever do with these? Okay, question you can answer in the comments. How long do you leave these up in your house? I never did put one up. No. I'm certain we had a wedding picture hung in our house. 
so one of the houses. And we had a collage of them for a while. But if you have formal stuff, are you the, do you still have it up? Or at some point did you take it down in lieu of a family photo or in lieu of... Because now we do the family photos every year, if not twice a year, if not every season. <laughs> uh, depending on your jam. No judgment. Uh, but... Got some right there. I know. So these were our fabulous, what do you call them, attendants? Wedding party. I don't know. Welcome. What, sorry. Wedding party. Uh, they were all friends from high school. <laughs> we were 19. Friends from high school. Right. I hope all are as well. I hope you are well. I love you. Thank you for being a part of our special day. Um, group, again. Okay, now I think brides are more often to hang these our bridal portraits in our home. But who has a groomsman? Who, I mean groomsman, a who has a right groom there. in their home? Post a picture or something. I wanna see, <laughs> I want to see if you have just the groom. We're about to. <laughs> You're not hanging this. Where are you gonna put this? I don't know. It's going to be a big canvas, though. Again, apparently you're going to see John's face on a big canvas. But, yeah, brides, I've seen brides. Mm. But I don't know that I've seen just the groom. Yeah, that's going to happen. Classic. Classic 2000. I feel like this is classic 2005. Classic our photographer. Right. Because when I sat with her, this is one of the photos. She still have the same ring. He still wears. I do not. But... I have it. I don't not have it. <laughs> I was there were two photos. I gotta find now. I have to find out. I was making a good stuff. Um, this photo sh was shown to me. This is apparently my photographer's specialty. It's every photographer wedding photographer's specialty. <laughs> but I dug it and this one, which yeah. again is probably no yes, which is probably not like soup. But it you know I was nineteen. I was I, like I was sold it. And last but not mm. least. The happy couple. This was probably right before we left. That's when I looked at the sandwich bar and said there's no food left. <laughs> no food for us. And your your kiss good your kiss at the end of the night, dancing and carrying on and and what a lovely, fabulous. So uh, that was fun. <laughs> Was that fun? We stayed at the, where did we stay? We so stayed- the Embassy Suites. We stayed at the Embassy was Suites. brand new hotel in- In, where is that at? In- Rogers, Bentonville, I don't know. Somewhere over there, in Arkansas. <laughs> um, and we were not old enough technically to check in to that hotel at the time. <laughs> so- what family's for. So somebody checked in for us. Such a fun wedding. I loved our wedding. I We did renew our vows at 10 years, but that was because you know, life. 10 years. Woo! You make it 10 years. You gotta do something big. <laughs> then, points to whoever guesses where we went on our honeymoon. In 2005, where would two 19 year olds <laughs> go on their honeymoon? Would they go to Paris? Would they go to Milan? Would they go <laughs> on safari? No, they'd go to Cozumel in <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> right? Uh, fun trip. It was fat. It was fun. Mexico is fabulous. Still the best soup I've ever had in my entire life. John partook of a grilled cheese poblano soup. Yes. Specifically remember it. Loved it. Now. Who's a kitty? Hello, kitty. What do we? Um. So yes. So here's to 15 years. Here is to not getting the coronavirus. Uh. Here is to. Rem you know we had plans for this anniversary. We did. Twice. Twice. We had twice yeah. plans. We were going to go to Nashville. And the day after we booked that trip, there was a tornado. So we kind of went like, okay, right. that's probably... be in the way. It's probably a no-go. Um, and then we were going to go to Lexington, Kentucky, because it's only an hour away. And we were going to go... We're going to do something in Lexington. I'm going to eat at a castle and look at horses. We were going to do that. Um, just, you know, be out out in the world celebrating 15 years of wedded bliss yeah but then you know the corona what are you gonna do uh we were gonna do that and it so here we are full of a wonderful grilled Social. steak dinner john made an excellent meal it was fabulous um it was really good in the rain um and our <laughs> kids were very sweet to celebrate us they were they gave us like a yay good for y'all 
it's an achievement these days. So we it's exciting. Hang in there, folks. Right. This is how you just grin and bear it. Fifteen years, what do you do? Homeschool, watch Lego Masters, <laughs> cook at home in the rain because that's your option. Get on the YouTubes. <laughs> you make uh, the best of it. You do. You make the best of it. And it's good. And, you know? Laugh and smile and pray. <laughs> the reality is, this is an unprecedented time. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be all bad and scary and whatever. It doesn't have to be all Netflix binging. Right. Like, have some fun together. Laugh. Look for some good. Right. Smile. You have time. <laughs> right? <It's plenty laughs> Most of, of you time. have more time. Turn off the news for real. Watch mm. YouTube. People on YouTube still cranking out them vids. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the midst of the vids. social distancing, we will crank out some more vids. Yeah, we promised one about two months ago. We did, and this is it. You're getting it. Taking a walk through our wedding day. Because uh, we know so many new, fun, and fabulous people who we've only met in the last couple of years. Right. Who find out we got married mm. at 19 and look at us like we're insane. It was lovely sitting with you. We hope you enjoyed our wedding photos. Great to see you all again. Right? I'm telling you, I want to see if you have just the groom, a photo mm. of just the groom hanging in your home, I want to see it. That'd be awesome. Because I'm almost convinced it doesn't exist. I'm almost convinced it's either couples photos or bridal portraits. I'm half convinced that there are never just grooms hanging in people's houses. Even if it's like in a collage, like it's couple. Like I'm thinking this is pretty rare. Right. Three by five, and three by six. If, if, it's, if it's like poster size, <laughs> that deserves some kind of award. If you're not a newlywed and you still have your wedding photo. I mean, I'm talking not a newlywed. I'm talking... Ten plus? Maybe seven. Let's go seven plus years. Um, if you still have your wedding photo actually hanging in your home, I want to see it. I want to see it. We love you. Stay... Healthy. Yeah. Safe. I just... Pew, pew, pew. Stay safe, folks. You know how you stay together for 15 years and happy? Finger pistols. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> hey, though.